Hey everyone, Donovan Brown here. Have you ever wanted to process tweets from Twitter, but didn't want to learn their API or take a dependency on yet another library or SDK? Well, if you use Dapper, all you need to do is write a method that accepts a post request. In this video, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to set up an input binding with Dapper. Let's go. Good morning, everyone. No, let's try that again. Good morning, everyone. Oh, perfect. Bindings are one of many building blocks provided by Dapper. Bindings enable you to trigger your code with events from external sources and interface with external systems. Dapper offers generic and cloud-specific bindings. If you don't see the binding you need, Dapper is open source and easy to extend by adding your own bindings. Now let's jump into the code. First, I create a folder to hold the component definitions for Dapper. Next, I add a bindings.yaml file to hold the Twitter binding. I'm going to visit the Dapper doc site to copy the YAML needed to define this input binding. If I scroll down, I can see I also need to add a query element. Now, I'm going to paste the sample YAML and update the information. First, I will add the query element and set the value to Microsoft. This will cause Dapper to trigger my code whenever a tweet contains the word Microsoft. Next, I will update the secrets and keys with the values from my Twitter developer account. For this demo, I'm placing the values directly in this component. However, Dapper can also read these values from a secret store. For this demo, I don't need the namespace, so I'll remove it. The name assigned to this component is very important because it is also the route I must define in my controller class. Here, the name is tweets. When I define the route to my post method, I will also use the word tweets. With my component defined, I can create an app to process tweets. Any language can be used that can accept a post request. I have written this application using Java and Node.js before, so today I'm going to use .NET. I'm going to clean up the sample code. I will not need the weather forecast file, so I'll remove it. I'm also going to rename the default controller file to tweet controller. Now I will update the controller's name. I will remove the code from lines 14 to 17. Finally, I will replace the get method with a post. Notice that when I define the route for my post request, I name it tweets to match the name of my component. If the route and the component name do not match, my code will not be called. In the method, I'm going to log the body provided by the request. Notice there is no Dapper or Twitter specific code in my application. I simply define a post method and Dapper will make sure the tweets are sent to my code. With the code in place, I can run my application with Dapper. I tell Dapper the port my application is running on and the folder where I defined my input binding component. Finally, I have Dapper launch my application using .NET Run. Dapper starts and runs my application. Dapper also combines the logs into a single stream. As the tweets start to come in, the logs are populated with the body of the requests. Dapper makes it easy to trigger an application with external events and requires no additional libraries, SDKs, or dependencies. To learn more, visit dapper.io and join the Dapper community on Discord. Good morning, everyone. No, let's try that again. Good morning, everyone. Oh, perfect. 